Blessings to everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Answers. My name is Lillian Hewlett. This is our second week of Lent. And last week, I've shared to you our base energy center healing meditation. So as part of our cleansing, clearing in our Christian Catholic traditions, we will go through the seven energy centers. And for this week, we are going to focus on the sacral energy center. And I would like to share to you first, where is our sacral energy center located? So here is our sacral energy center. The sacral energy center is located two inches below the navel. It is not there physically, but energetically on the etheric level, if it is we are talking on the body. So on a sacral center, uh, we go into everything about sexuality, everything about loving our physical body. And the sacral energy center is also related to all the organs on the lower part of our stomach. So that means it can be related to our sexual organs, intestines, pelvis, vertebra, or bladder hip area. And the gland is the gonads, and it's related to the water element. So when we connect the sacral to a musical instrument, it can be the any water instrument or the drums can be. And for the human development, it can be related from three to six years old. So why? Because during this time when we are three to six years old, we are starting to create things you know, out of our infant. From infancy, we try to really be exploring the world. I don't know if you have seen a child from three, four to six years old, they're just really exploring the world, grabbing everything, seeing the beauty of the nature or the surroundings around. So there is a grace here and much of the emotions, thoughts and emotions related to the sacral center, as I've said, is about sexuality. And it's also related to our physical or material creativity, how we create things, no? how we show our creativity in, if you're a child in creating a, a, um, a ball out of Play-Doh, or if you are already an adult, then how you create things out of your imagination. And this is also related to creativity for jobs and money. So I always says that if you need money, you need to focus on enhancing your sacral energy center. And it's also related to how we relate to different sexes or to the same sex. So if we are going to relate this to a misdirected love, as we can say in the Catholic tradition, it can be the sins of the spirit. This can be related to the lust. So what is lust? It means objectifying the other person. Or it can also be related to addiction, any form of addiction, food, money, um, whatever habits that make you addicted or computer <laughs> games vices and it's also related to dominance and dualism so dualism means a separation of things like a body and spirit you no know? so if you are more into a physical world material things without the spirit that can be called dualism or a separation between a man and a woman that's also a kind of dualism and it's also related to our power but a good power but this can really be really be misdirected, the power. So it can be related to control and related to the blame and guilt, which is really very common, especially in 
growing in the Catholic Christian Church, the blame and guilt is so strong. So we have grace to really um, be uh, cleansed from this misdirected sins of the spirit. And this can be to the grace of reconciliation. I know some of you will be very um, adamant for not believing in reconciliation, but let's look at this way. Reconciliation, as a sacrament, if we're going to look into a deeper meaning of that, it's really about acknowledging that we have sinned or we have been against ourselves, against God, or against other people. See, see this as an acceptance of our shadow. When you go to the priest, you don't just say it to the priest priest for nothing. You are saying it as an acceptance of our own misgiving. So through reconciliation, whether you say it in a priest, whether you say it to your friends or your parents, it is a kind of a secret act of acknowledging our misgiving. But of course, as Christians, we say it to our priest. So it's an act of non-dualism. It is an act of union of ourselves. So for our grace or gift of the spirit, from last, it is going into the chastity. So the chastity is about giving honor, treating our body, as a sacred body, and that is how to be chased. So now we are going to look into our sacral energy center and start clearing, you know, clearing any thoughts and emotions that can really block our sacral energy center. So I would like you to find your most comfortable position and we're going to start our healing meditation. When you're ready, slowly close your eyes. Let us all put our hands in the praying position. Feel the presence of the Divine God within us, within our hearts, within our minds. Secret. 
Central Energy Center is related to our connectedness to this divine body. separation from our parents, a disconnection from our ancestors, we release and heal them now. and emotions regarding our sexuality. Release them all now. Now the 
this time let us place our hands on our lap, palms up. And on the level of the sacral, two inches below the navel. Imagine an orange aura shining on it, on the front part of your body and on the back part of your body. See an orange aura shining on it. And as this orange aura shines so brightly, This feeling of beauty, brightness, envelope us. We are all created in the image of the Divine God. And we are created beautifully. Feel the beauty of yourself each part of your body you are beautiful we are beautiful as the creation of the divine God we accept who we are in this physical body we give honor to those who have given birth to us, our parents, our ancestors. We give honor to our physical body. Now 
slowly let's come back let us all put our hands on our lap, palms down feel our feet on the ground feel our hands Now put our hands back to the praying position and let us thank God for this healing. For this affirmation. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and put your hands down. I hope you, we have renewed our beauty, a feeling of beauty as the creation of the divine God. And for this week, I would like to invite you to further activate our sacral energy center. And these are the things that I would like you to reflect or do. Huh? First is, let us reflect on what are the addictions have you you won over. So what addiction have you won over? So for me, one time I was really so addicted in the K drama. <laughs> and I have to pray over because it's already interfering in my work. So what are the addictions that you have won over? Second, let's dance. Within this week, I would like to invite you to dance. It's not a performance. Just go to your room and just move your body. That will activate our sacral energy center. Second, or third, I mean, uh, read the Song of Songs. The Song of Songs is one chapter in the Old Testament where we can be see the divine sexuality. Okay, so those are the three things. And I would like to hear from you if you have done this tree, and how did you feel activating our sacral center? So thank you for this moment. Thank you for this time. And if you feel that this helps you, please do subscribe to our channel. Okay, so thank you very much and namaste.